What's up guys, it's your boy Chibon Stunner, and I just wanted to give you a quick video game unboxing. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, and I was pretty excited today, and partially because I hadn't bought any games in a while, but uh, I decided to buy this one that I just knocked over. Um, this is the Living Edition Darksiders, Darksiders 2 to be exact, and there's really nothing limited edition about it outside of there's this uh, DLC um, that you can, that, that you get called uh, Argus's Tomb um, that comes with uh, this copy and I went to Walmart instead of GameStop because I just happened to be close to Walmart. So I picked it up and decided to unbox it for you guys. Um, as we look inside here, uh, it says, there's, got, there's a big M, it says Metro, Last Light, uh, Last Bullet, Last Breath, Last Chance. I don't know what this is, but it's coming 2013, so it must be some sort of shooter. Uh, let me tweak that for you. Uh, so yeah, coming 2013, and it's pretty cool. Uh, little little uh, pamphlet. Don't know what that is. There is my Argus's Tomb DLC. Here is uh, no code codes on the other side. Here's the actual booklet for the dark side too. That's totally tight. It's got a uh, death on it, riding his his uh, horse. Despair, I think the name of the horse. Not 100% sure, but anyway, it talks you through everything that you need. And there's another code back here. Your crucible pass code, uh, and I don't know exactly what in the hell that is, but it's included. So I'll put all those codes in uh, once I get going in the game. You've got the disc that doesn't look spectacular, but it's, you know, a bleak looking disc, which is to be expected from the Dark Siders franchise. On the back, as we zoom in here, it says uh, Become Death. Uh, it just talks about what a few people have given in. There's really not a lot of scenery on the back of this game, so I, I take it they want to, you to see it as you play it. Um, now, as we talk about this particular title real quick, um, IGN gave it like a 7.5 good, it, uh, I believe is what they gave it, and it, it, it got a decent score. That, to me, is a so-so score, but it's... You know, questionable. They said there's a lot of glitches, and they did review the PlayStation version. So I am curious to see um, if they were true and if I really enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed the first game. Um, one thing I didn't enjoy about the first game was is that I thought it, it, it got ridiculous with the puzzles at some points, and I think that, you know, that kind of hurt the game just a little bit. Uh, for me, in a way, my game, I, I, I was thinking a little more than I wanted to when I was trying to have fun. Uh, and... I don't know. You, let me know what you guys think. Uh, is harder better, or do you play game? You know, different people play games obviously for different reasons. But you know, I, I just thought it was a little too many puzzles versus you know, like some of the older Crash Bandicoot and some of the Mario and some of the other stuff where you had to solve puzzles, and it was a little challenging, but you had a lot of fun in the process. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, anyway, uh, upcoming guys, I got a ton of reviews. I'm going to review this uh, Retina MacBook Pro. Um, I'm going to review my Astro 850s. Uh, I just noticed that's kind of holographic. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to review all the things that I've recently purchased. Uh, I will be uh, doing an unboxing of an Elgato Game Capture HD because you guys have requested me to start doing game commentaries. And I'm going to kick that off with a little series that I'm going to do uh, leading up to Black Ops 2. And I'm just going to talk about random shit over my videos like everybody else does. And, you know, hopefully you guys will approve. And you know, keep watching it uh, as I kind of transform that into my podcast series that I was doing that I really wasn't happy with because some people do like to watch footage as they hear you talk. So that's coming up. A lot of things happening with the channel. Can't wait. If you guys have any suggestions about topics that you want me to discuss over uh, my gameplay, I will be glad to do so. Uh, I'm also in the process of making a video where I do show you how to create your own scuff gaming controller. Stay tuned for that one. That's all I got for this one. See ya.